Welcome. Thank you for joining us on the empty side of the table. This is our third and final What's in My Bag video from San Diego Comic Con this past weekend. So let's take a look. We got uh, got a bit disappointed with the bags that were given out this year and uh, we kind of got hosed. We ended up getting um, this bag for a show called Only Murderers in the Building. I was hoping at least to get one of the bags with the animated show on it like Bob's Burgers or The Simpsons or what have you, but our uh, girlfriend got the same bag. So that was a bit uh, disappointing. Alright, so this was uh, here, it was like a little thing you put around your head. Pick that up at uh, the Pokemon booth. Now every year it seems like there's at least one or two vendors where we'll get primarily all of our stuff from. One of the first things we purchased was this amazing pillow. Um, looks like it was made from a uh, burlap sack almost. From the phantasmical world of Rodi Monteo. We've got uh, several of his things already hanging about our house. Had yet to ever see this and we picked it up. Open this. Don't want to use scissors or anything. So he's got this really cool Halloween type flag that we've got hanging in the hallway. We've got a few of his prints. There we go. And actually, there would have been more things that we might have purchased, but um, this is really cool. And it wasn't overpriced. Had a nice price to it. Awesome. Okay, what do we got next? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to be a bit difficult. Um, this was also from Rodi Montillo. This is a throw blanket. Can you see that okay? <laughs> Looks like it's flying over you, yeah? Look at that. Pretty cool. I don't know how I'm going to uh, display this. I thought maybe hanging it on the wall, but it's, it's quite thick and heavy. Don't want to put a, any kind of strain or tear on this. So I might just drape it over my bed. And there was so much more I could have uh, purchased from him. This isn't the only stuff, but... What else have we got here? Oh, yeah, well, we got this. This is a t-shirt from the Uni Universal Monsters booth. Or Famous Monsters, I'm sorry. We have uh, a tapestry of this that we got last year. Um, hanging in our bedroom. That... Frankenstein Tapestry is one we got last year also. And uh, that's uh, El Santo fighting the werewolf. This is the bag that the shirt came in, but it looks like there's more things in here. Okay. This is a dice set that we picked up at Kraken Dice. We'll be doing a separate unboxing for this. Oh, yeah. Look at this. I forgot the booth I got this from, but this is a Universal Monsters Tarot deck. I do collect tar tarot decks, and I fancy the art on it. There was a Christina Ricci... Uh, I don't know if it was a themed deck. It was more of a book, like a tarot journal. This is to display on new dice. And also purchased some Kraken dice. What do we have here? Got some stickers from Kraken dice. It's a flyer. This was from the Ultraman booth. Here's something we picked up from Rody. No, it's not. Okay. We got this from the uh, DC merch booth. I should put that in the other bag. Okay. What else we got? 
the quick guide. Oh, is the, uh, let's see here. Because there's something from uh, Cut to Haze I wanted to share. There, it feels like that's it, yeah? There we go. No? Where did I put it? Okay, maybe it's on there. Is that it? No. No. So while uh, our girlfriend was um, looking for manga, we picked this up at the manga booth. This is uh, Junji Ito's retelling version of Frankenstein. Um, I adore this dude's art. Really cool stuff. If you're able to check out his series, animated series, shorts on Netflix, I recommend that. See, this, there were people out on the street handing this out. Um, I thought they were the, uh, the church protesters. I don't, I don't know if they're uh, actually got some kind of agenda or something going on, or uh, if this is just like them trying to promote, promote a new comic. We got these at the Pokemon booth for doing their experience. Same with that. And that. Uh, there are some people there behind the famous monsters booth promoting their short film. They had this really cool mascot called Bonk. Nice people. What's this? This was the uh, lanyard that came with your badge. I switched it out for one of my own. Okay, here we go. This was the lanyard we picked up from uh, Rody's booth, the phantasmical world of Rody Montillo. There was a uh, comic vendor, and they had Gotham, the doom that came to Gotham. And that was the one I was wanting to buy, but I picked, for some reason I grabbed this one by accident. Um, but I'm intrigued to see what it's all about. Here we go. So, the gentleman cut a haze. He's uh, this fantastic artist. I think he's got a book called Mouse God. And every year, he does these sketches. He's standing in line and he'll just paint. And uh, I've done that about five or six times now. This is the one he did this year. He does it right in front of you within minutes. And he starts off by painting with just water. Like he'll wet the perimeter, then dip the brush and just do splashes of water. And then he'll add ink to the water. And this is what he came up with. Brilliant. I've got a collection of uh, his sketches he's done for us through the years. This was a free print that we were able to pick from at uh, Rodi Monteo's booth because we spent a particular amount and he's like, you get to spin the wheel, you spin the wheel and it said free print. And that's what we got from there. Oh yeah, Killer Pumpkins was there. I adore Killer Pumpkins, they're one of my favorite uh, vendors. We have lots of their art in our home. This was a new piece that I hadn't seen before. The gentleman that runs his booth, him and his wife are total sweethearts. Really, really nice. Um, and he demands every year that I come see him <clears throat> just to say hi, catch up a bit. We also picked up this pin, similar design from uh, Killer Pumpkins. Now this here, there was a vendor there that had nothing but playing cards. Like most of them I had never seen before. But look at this one. I always try to get a deck of cards at uh, conventions I go to, if they're available. This one here looks uh, Cthulhu themed. This here, I'll have to do a separate unboxing. For this, I'll you know put it together in the video. This is a dice jail with metal and wood. And you put it together, it's even got a gate that you lift up and down to put your dice in to shame them for failing you. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. This we picked up from uh, Rody's booth also. It's this cool little metal. And there was one vendor, uh, I also collect coins and I try to get coins at the various conventions I go to. Yeah. 
And these were nicely priced. <laughs> Look at this. This is a uh, Krampus and Santa Claus. How cool is that? There was another vendor there um, called Colossal Coins, and they did really, really big, chunky ones. Also very nicely priced, but um, I had to uh, pass it by. There are too many other things I wasn't on yet. All right, the rest of the stuff in there is uh, various pins, I think. Yeah. And doodads. Wait, here we go. Here's a pin. Another pin I've got. I forgot where I got it from. It's a nice Cthulhu pin. All right. So, this what has been a what's in my bag. Final what's in my bag, I guess, from San Diego Comic Con. We're going to have a few uh, unboxing videos coming up. I'm sorry I had to rush through this, but uh, I had already done it once and it shut down on us. If it does it again, we'll just say that's the end of the video. But again, um, now it's sounding like I'm beating a dead horse. I've got to give my gratitude to the amazing Mel Smith of Ten Ton Press. I've been going to Comic Con for free solely on his kindness and good graces. Uh, essentially, um, the first day, we're waiting to get our badges. Um, we're a bit late getting on the floor, no big deal. We asked him, Do you need anything? He's like, Three Cokes. So we ventured out into the gas lamp picked up three Cokes, and that got us in. <laughs> Basically, three Cokes to get into Comic-Con. The next day, uh, I guess uh, overnight, he was at uh, some kind of event, like a QVC event or something, selling comics, and um, he was pretty much there overnight, hadn't eaten anything, so the next morning, I'm just like, you know, hey, what's going on there? And he's like, hey, could you get me something to eat? So we got him. And I was like, what do you want? He's like, a pretzel. So I got him a pretzel. <laughs> $10 for a goddamn pretzel. I would not have bought that for myself. But I was happy to help Mel out. We were also able to get him the uh, absolute Batman ash can. So a pretzel, a comic book, three Cokes. That's all it took for me to get into Comic Con. Obviously this was after the fact. I could have gotten in anyway, but I'm not going to be ungrateful and not do something for him. So, again, gratitude goes a long way. Um, it helped me get these things. Because I was uh, pretty nice to the people holding up the lines. Amazing year, though. We'll have a few unboxing videos to follow. Thank you. Take care. Always be kind.